All right, so this is gonna be a much shorter, just much more to the point uh, tutorial on actually how to make some changes to stuff. Um, if you saw my last and first video, I just kind of went through briefly how each of some of the different tools work and what kind of some of the file types um, like control and have in them, that kind of stuff, just to kind of like give a general idea to how some of the stuff works. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look at changing um, item texts in the game and menu texts, NPC text, uh, armor text, all sorts, that kind of stuff. Um, first thing that you do to do that is you just go ahead and go to your game file right here. Just make sure it's unpacked with UXM. Uh, in my specific instance here, we would be clicking into the mod folder and then following the message path. But if you don't have that already, because I took the time to do that myself and copy that over into the mod folder, what you would do is you would go into this message folder, which would be here like normal. But what I did is I copied it into my mod folder so that when I make changes to it, it doesn't directly affect the base game files. It affects them through the mod folder, which I can then remove if I don't want to have those changes in the game anymore by just removing this folder instead of having to go through and restore everything. So I'll go ahead and open it up through my mod folder. Messages. You would select your language and then there would be in the regular uh, I, message folder, there would be five options here. There would be item DLC one and then item DLC two there would be menu DLC one, and there would be menu DLC two, and then there would be a like bin folder with like all of the words that you're not allowed to like say or use in the game for some reason. That's included too. But all you really need is these two, so that's why these are the only two that I copied. So for changing the say longsword, what we would do is we would go ahead and just open this up right here by using Yabber, which I have mapped to my right click tools. If you don't, you can simply just drag this DCX file over the Yabber executable. But since I have it like this, we'll just open it. So what it does is this unpacks, it makes an unpacked copy of this file. This file itself still controls what the game sees, what pops up in the game, all that kind of stuff. This folder doesn't have any bearing over that. This is just an unpacked copy. So to make this be what the game sees, you would need to repack it. But first you need to go into it. Just click all the way in and then make the changes that you want to make and then repack it. And then the game will see those. So there's a couple options here once you get into it. There is the souls mod uh, text containers that you can use. It will show you what the uh, aims translate to so that you can find what you're looking for and then there's also Papa Appa's uh, text tutorial stuff right here that you can open up I'll put that in the description as well which will also have things kind of laid out for you in the files that you're looking for so you can open these up make the edits in here and then just copy that over if you want to or you can use it as a reference to find what you're looking for. This one is weapon names. It tells you what the symbols look like. You'd be looking for that in here. Same deal. So for weapons, we would be looking for this right here. So that would be this one right here. So what you do to open this up is the same deal. You just use Yabber to unpack it. You'll get an XML document. If you want to double click on it to open it and view it, you can to double check to make sure that you are seeing what you want to see. We were looking for weapons. This is obviously weapons. We can go ahead and close that. And then you can go ahead and right click, and yabber this XML file to create a backup if you want a backup for any changes that you make. I don't usually use a backup because I'm doing all this in my mod folder anyways. So if I need a backup, I can go into my game's unpacked folders if I want, so I'm going to delete that, but just know that is an option. So what we can do is open up the XML with a text editor, notepad works fine, and you should already have it. So we're going to look for the longsword, 
which shouldn't be very far into this, honestly. One of the first weapons. We got short swords, we got long sword. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna call this R1 spam. One thing that you do need to do is actually go ahead and change all of the things pertaining to the longsword in this row. Because what would happen is if you don't, the base version of your weapon will be called whatever you change it to. But if you infuse it, it will change to one of these. So say you change this to R1 spam, but then you infuse it to be a crystal longsword. It would then say crystal longsword because it wasn't changed. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna take just a second here. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna change these to all say R1 spam. A little bit of a chore sometimes to copy stuff multiple times, but that's just kind of how it is with this because that's how the texts are set up. So once you make the changes to all of the ones that you want to make changes to, so right here we see all of them, you can just go ahead, go up here, click File, click Save, and close it. So the changes that we made are held inside of this XML document, not the actual FMG document. So if we want our changes to actually show up, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to go ahead and close this FMG document, or delete this FMG document, or create a backup, and then replace this one. Up to you. I personally just delete it again because this is in my mod folder, so if I need to get a backup of it, I can go ahead and just copy it from the main game. But what we're going to do is we're going to delete that, and then the XML that we have changed, we'll go ahead and yabber, and that'll repack it to a nice little FMG for us. We can delete the XML because the game doesn't read the XML, it reads the FMG. So here is the file that we made our changes to. So, simple thing now, you just back up all the way back out to right here. Like I said earlier, this game reads the DCX file, not the file folder. So what we're gonna do, because this is one that holds our changes and this one is not, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Yabber to repack that folder that I made the changes in, and then I'll just delete that folder. Then we can back up. That's all that it takes to change weapon names. You can do the same thing in there with any of these other options, which you can see here, or with Papa Appa's uh, text bin stuff. You can go ahead and find the matchup for goods, the goods descriptions, so go in and change good descriptions. You can go in, change accessories like rings. You can change weapon descriptions. You can change uh, armor names, armor descriptions, magic names, area names. Uh, you can change in the game NPC dialogues, the way that soapstone guidance messages pop up. There's all this good stuff for you here to be able to look at and figure out how it works if you, if you so choose. It works the same for any of the things that you open. Um, so use that however you see fit. And if you have questions, go ahead and ask. Um, I will link the Discord that I am in for mod help in the description as well. We'll go ahead and close that. And then we will close this. And then what we can do really quick is we can go ahead and open up the game. Go ahead and look at the changes we made really quick. waiting for this sick load time. Come right on into the game here. We'll have a nice little clash of music in the background from my stuff from the tutorial to this, but that's okay. We'll go ahead and disable that really quick. So here you can see the uh, mod engine at work up in the top right. It's checking the network connection status, but right now the mod engine is actually blocking it from being able to connect to the server so that you don't get in trouble for changing everything. We'll go ahead and continue into the game here. 
load in. Here we are with some of my modded stuff that I've already been working on putting into the game here. So, But what we're going to look at primarily is the longsword because that's what we made a change to. So right here you can see it is now called the R1 spam. And it pops up like that. If you wanted to go in and change its item description, then all you would need to do is, you know, go into the item description tab in the text bins and change those, save it, and then repack it. And then this would say something different here. So completely up to your imagination at that point. So that's going to be it for this one, though. So thank you for hanging out.